Does a Berg have more glide than a rock climbing shoe? Today we're going to review the Berg. I've wanted a Berg for a while. The Berg is sick. It's a one speed. It's like slow. I just got two. I got, this is a K3 hard. This is the K3 line. I'm not sure what that is. It feels like a little bit better than the baseline plastic. We're going to try this disc out. We're going to see what it does. We'll throw a couple other things to see how it compares to. I, so I have a Rhino. I have a Pig and I have a rock climbing shoe. So we're gonna compare to see how these things fly. Uh, out here in the field, I have a basket. It's about 230 feet away. My understanding is that's a kind of far to throw a Berg, but we're gonna try. The Berg flight numbers are one, one, zero, two. So the real question in this video is, does a Berg have more glide than a rock climbing shoe? Let's find out. I'm just gonna kinda throw these on my normal hyzer angle. I'm gonna throw it kinda hard, see what happens. Huh. Well, it slipped up, started, and I was like, oh wow. It's gliding more than I thought for one glide. And then it went, mm. so. Interesting. We'll throw another one. Definitely has a little less glide. Uh, it seems like when it gets up to speed, it just kind of elevators down. Surprising that it slows down as fast as it slows down while still remaining straight. So here's the real test now. Let's see how it f flies compared to this Climb X uh, bouldering shoe. I think I should go power grip. Well, that definitely had less glide than the Berg. Maybe only made it about 80 feet. Pretty straight flight, little flip up, but I think it's safe to say the Berg has more glide than a rock climbing shoe. Alrighty, let's do a couple more throws. I'll throw them flat this time, see how they fly flat. Dude. So straight, holy crap. I can't, these things are so crazy. It's like, we'll put it on, put it on straight up instead of flat. Let's go on Anheuser and see, see how straight it goes. Annie hit the fence but it seemed to very softly start to pan out. Kind of seems like no matter what you do with this disc, it wants to go straight. All right, now we're gonna do some comparisons. We have Berg, one speed, one glide. Rhino, two speed, one glide. Pig, three speed, one glide. I already know the Pig is gonna have an overstable finish but we're gonna kind of compare distances. I'm gonna throw all, well, four of these, and uh, we'll compare. I'm gonna throw all of them on my, on my normal hyzer angle. I'm gonna throw all of them kind of hard at that basket, so 230 out there. Let's go with the Rhino first. Yeah, it didn't go far, it wasn't a great throw. But again, it also, it looked like no glide. Pig. That went a little bit farther. 
overstable finish. Bird. God, it's so straight. This disc is so sick. Awesome. Little well, thoughts. Cast the Plast Berg. First thing that really stands out to me is it has more glide than a rock climbing shoe. <laughs> the first real thing that stands out to me is that it is so straight. When it runs out of speed, rather than fading, it just kind of just bleh, it just melts into the ground. You get some fade, but not a lot. Look at these throws I just had. Rhino, pig, berg, berg. So if I go back in line with the basket, the berg stayed in line to where these guys Heisered out. The Berg. Is this disc going in my bag? Absolutely. What is this disc for? I think this disc is for speed control. I think this disc is, seems like it'd be great for someone that has more control if they're throwing harder versus a softer finesse player. I think this disc is a really good disc. If, like for me, I seem to have, if I try to go nice and soft, pow. Not great. I seem to have more control. I seem to hit my lines better if I'm at that three quarters power. So this disc might be a great approach disc. Right now I use a beat in pig for my straight approaches and a new pig for my approach that I need to finish. But this is slower and has less speed than my pig. So I think I would use this if the distance is shorter. Right now in my game, I jump putt pretty far. So if I'm within maybe 100 feet, I'm jump putting to lay up. It's really like get more to that 200 range I'm throwing an approach. But that's where this disc is going to come in. I'm more comfortable approaching for maybe 250 with my pig, and this is in that tweener between my jump putt and my pig throws. So, Cast Plastberg, I think it lives up to the hype. It is going in my bag. The bouldering shoe is not going in my bag. I will leave the bouldering shoe for when I go bouldering. So, catch the plastic bird, try it. Thank you for watching. If you throw the bird, let me know what you use it for. And don't hit first available next time you're out on the course.